let's take a look at what the headlines are. The Herald's newspaper reports this morning, the top NDC MPs turn lobbies for GMPC, Ake Energy AGM, uh, 1.65 billion US dollars debty transaction. Also, Kufuado's relatives use state power to snatch property from private citizens. IGP Lands Commission has sued. Railway construction project turns a case uh, for Apegusu and Impakatan residents left angry over massive distraction. And MPP can only render account to Ghanaians from the opposition, according to John Dramani Mahama, who is presently on a tour across the country. The informal newspaper says recommendations on Auditor General's report empower PAC, that's the Public Accounts Committee, to crash offenders. Also, Ghana ready to emulate German example, like Ufuado, Mahama Punch's government, says NPP has stolen billions of state money and must be voted out. It's unmeritorious, Kufuado tells Asepa, uh, but Asepa is fighting back. They say they feel their rights have been trampled upon. The Finder newspaper, COVID-19, time to rally round the flag for quick recovery. Kojo Upon Kroma is our information minister. Current management inherited some 2.23.9 million Ghana CDs, expired chemicals and fertilizers at Cocoa Board. And yesterday I told you how there's a letter cited by the Auditor General saying, well, write it off. Ghana protects legitimate investment. President Kufuado to German investors. ADB to finance Anglican Church robber project. Hooray. Murderers. Uh, murders. Okay. 306 cases recorded in first half of 2021. Only one case closed so far with one person convicted. The Republic Press. Allow us to operate. We don't need cars. Okada riders. Remember the promise about the 2020 election? And uh, Okada, Okada is so well. They're asking for their cars. Uh, and some say they don't want the cars. They want to ride. Pius Hajide is National Youth Authority boss. The devil led me to kill my wife. Suspect confesses to police. The banner headline, Master No Day. Muhammad Jabs Kufwado in his absence as thank you to Terence campaign. Also, I didn't lie against CJ. Lawyer Frifa insists in that uh, controversial $5 million, uh, you know, debacle. President promotes Ghana-German relations. And the Daily Statement, Agenda 111, Ghana Medical uh, uh, Authority Association, sorry, calls for support from Ghanaians. We protect legitimate investments. Ekufado assures global investors in Germany. Government rallies media support for post-COVID recovery. And the new crusading guide to... Uh, was it? Coordinator encourages students to take education seriously. Also, we protect legitimate investment economy rebounding. Akufuado to German investors. In Sheso MP unveils classy development office and committees. Youth below 18 can buy alcohol, uh, can't buy alcohol or cigarette in its constituency. Time now to rally around the flag towards COVID-19 quick recovery. Kojo Upon Kroma at the Stambe Graphic <coughs> Fora. Gadangbe youth evoke curses on uh, Magdan and uh, the saboteurs of Magdan. The Chronicle, heartless driver in the cooler for acid bathing his ex-lover. Shame. Ghana is determined to participate fully in the global market, according to President Kufuado. Media must help to rescue economy from ravages of COVID-19. And Elijeko Foundation screens Kumasi residents with eye problems for free. Uh, well, BNFT, government ponder special power tariffs for some industries and speed up operationalization of the African continental free trade area and ECOWAS payment platforms, Dr. Senso. CSIR wants to trigger amendment to its laws to serve public better and major boost for domestic cards as 17 banks now issue GH Link cards. The Daily Graphic, we're building prosperous, dynamic nation. President assures in Germany, complement efforts to revive the economy. Upon Kruma charges the media, deficit in science equipment not supports colleges of education. The Daily Guide, perhaps our final one, NDC boy leaks 5 million US dollars CJ bribe report, which uh, some lawyers have called uh, unnecessary because... It's supposed to have been held in camera and confidential. We protect legitimate investments, Nana tells Germans, and Ghana, Germany, and Hans Board. So those are the front page details of our dailies for this morning. And I've been joined in studio by Mr. Alfred Thompson. He is a member of the MPP's communication team. You know him formerly from the NIB Bank and also uh, lawyer uh, George Opariado. Uh, popularly known as Pablo. He is the National Youth Organizer of the NDC. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing?
Thank you. Great, great, great. Good to have you. Let's talk about COVID-19. I took interest in, and because Kujo Ponkroma is asking for the press to, to support in, in the fight, I took interest in the COVID-19. I went to uh, the Gangomo. I went to the Lantijawe Homo. I did a bit of Pleju as well. And yesterday I was in Osu. The wearing of the nose masks and the cases that are rising, for me, I don't want to be pessimistic, but it's quite alarming and I seem not to see an end in sight. What do you see, Alfred? Um, good morning to everyone, especially my people in, in the central region, Cape Coast to be precise, mm. and to everyone who's working at this one, we say thank God. It's quite painful and um, shocking when you see people and you tell them about the wearing of the nose mask, the sanitizing and mm. everything, and they seem not to take it serious. Especially every day when cases are coming up and you, you keep on saying that, listen, what is happening? This third wave mm. is very serious than the first and the second decade. So do not joke with even those with the jabs mm -hmm. are being affected That's or right. infected by this uh, the, virus, the, the, deadly yeah, virus. Variant. And so you, you, you tell yourself that, listen, let us not joke with all these things. When mm -hmm. it comes to traditional certain things, you know that one of um, Oko Boy's loss mm -hmm. was because mm -hmm. they banned the Homo War That's from right. being celebrated right. in his uh, locality. Yeah. And so it creates a problem. Mm -hmm. Recently, someone called me and said, oh, I hope you are coming for the Fetu Afashi. And I said, I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. I don't go into crowds because I don't believe in putting myself at risk. Yeah. If people want to do it, I don't know, but I am not. And we are pleading with everyone. You see, the lives mm -hmm. of everybody is at stake. When you do it and you, or when you go out and mm -hmm. you go home, maybe you are taking the disease to other people home. Maybe you are stronger to hold it and right. be, people might not see it. Asymptomatic. But when you get home, Someone, a young person, an old person, could be affect, um, infected by it. And it will not take even a week or two for them to leave. Mm. So we're pleading. It's, it's something that we can only plead. Because you can't force people. You can't hold them every morning. Mm. The police cannot do much. I mean, when they see you on the road, they can punish you and everything. Mm. But to what extent? The only thing they can do is that everybody, we need to continuously plead. And mm. we need the media to help us in this front. Mm. Because like what you did, going around to just check and make sure that people are wearing it and everything. Mm -hmm. If we all put our voices together and we all come together and fight this thing, mm -hmm. I believe it will be better for all of us because we are all involved. Right. We are all involved right. at the end of the day. Pablo. <clears throat> I'm Johnny, good morning to your viewers. Good morning. Let me say that. See, I, I've always maintained that leadership is a cause. Mm -hmm. When people believe in the leadership of a certain person, mm -hmm. they tend to follow the cause he's pursuing. Unfortunately for us, our leaders have not shown an outright commitment in this fight against COVID-19. How do you as mean? There's been too many incidences and instances where you've seen our president engaging in crowds. So if the president himself is attending funerals, mm -hmm. if the president himself is in open crowds, sometimes without no smacks. Mm -hmm. We've seen senior members of his government do say, what picture are you putting out there? What are you telling the ordinary person who looks up to you and then show some level of commitment? Also, what has been the government's response in this fight against COVID-19? We were supposed to have been vaccinated, at least a chunk of us should right. have been vaccinated by now, right. so that we can acquire some herd immunity. Mm -hmm. Our deadline was October, exactly. but now it's December. October. Exactly. Where we sit today, mm. what commitment has the Ministry of Health shown you and I? What have they done extraordinary? What experiencing measures have they put in place mm. for all of us to believe that this virus is out there, it is consuming, it is taking lives, and that we must all adhere to the protocols that have been put out or set out mm. by the Ministry? That has not happened. So you have our health minister telling us that he was taking decisions at a time when he was not rational, when he was not mentally compost and he was not thinking right. Mm -hmm. And up to date, the same person who is supposed to be leading the charge mm -hmm. against COVID-19 right. embezzles our funds. Well, you can't say that <laughs> that he has embezzled funds. I think it's, it's before, it's before it's, parliament. No, but, but he went before parliament and lied. Pedri. 
Well, it's been established the, the, the that the plenary is yet to take a decision on no, that. No, but but it's when, been when established. they resumed, I'm sure they will. But do. but the report has established, and the after happenings clearly comes to only one reasonable conclusion that the minister lied before the parliamentary select committee. Fenyo Markin thinks otherwise. He's the chairman of the committee. So uh, he I, hasn't I, I, I am not sure Fenyo Markins <clears throat> knows the law better than any other person. When I come before a committee as health minister and I'm asked, have you paid monies? Mm. Have governments, not you as a person, because it is not your money, right. has government released any money mm -hmm. to this person? Mm. And you tell the committee that no, government has not paid any money to this sheikh or whoever he is in Dubai. And only for documents to emerge from the ministry that almost two point something million dollars had already been advanced to the person. And even the deadline that we were given, because we were told that it was it was under an emergency certificate. Right. That is how come they went to procure the vaccines. After almost eight months, mm -hmm. the vaccines have not arrived in this country. Mm -hmm. And now we are being told that a refund is going to be given to us. And then you tell me that the minister did not lie. He mm -hmm. lied before the parliamentary select committee. We all watched it on TV. The day he told you and I that as a minister for health, <coughs> he was not thinking right. That was the day he had to put out his job because you, see, you are paid to think right. He was, he's on a two weeks leave now. You are, no, you see, you are mm. paid to think right. right. That is why you are minister. Everybody else could be minister, but he selected you. So you have the ultimate responsibility. You have that duty of making sure that you think right because any bad decision on your part affects millions of people in this country. I see. And that is exactly where we find ourselves. That is how come. Yes, there is COVID, but nobody seems to be taking it serious. Because those who are leading us, who are supposed to lead the church, who are supposed to lead by example, are not mm. doing that. I see. Alfred, so when we started this fight, we had some pickup vans labeled COVID-19. I'm sure you saw them. Some new pickup vans. I don't see them in town anymore. Um, we saw the NCC doing a lot of public education. You don't hear from them as much. Um, government itself used to do um, twice a week um, updates from the information ministry, Kojo would bring people. You don't get to see a lot of that these days. Is it your opinion too that that perhaps could be what is making people think that, oh, the thing is not around perhaps as if? Johnny, before <coughs> I go in there, I would like to address a few of the things he's raised. Mm. You know, when we start doing politics with serious things like the virus that is attacking people mm. then people don't take both sides serious they think oh it's one of those jargons the politicians do mm. and it affects people it affects daily lives when you sit here and you say that the leadership is not doing president has announced he came out in his last address he said this is a serious very uh, understand uh, third variance that has mm. okay let us all take it serious let us all observe the protocols that has been uh, that have been given and let each and every one make sure that before you go out if someone is not wearing his or her nose mask you do you tell the person to do it everywhere the president goes you see that uh, his nose mask is on and everything this uh, could the president one, have one shown of the things one of the things like um say john's funeral mm -hmm. was far before the state variance no, that's not true. it was far before the that's state variance okay. say john's funeral no, was far before the state variance so, and even if he attended so Alfred, could, could you the saw that could the president have shown, could the president and other leaders have shown mm -hmm. and if you like admitted in candor mm -hmm. that look we did this we gave a wrong signal we got it wrong we are sorry let's move on could could we have done that what signal did they give that it was wrong that's your, the that, world over they are actually doing a funeral, you see sometimes sometimes space, sometimes we don't up. even um we don't uh, encourage we don't um, admit and say that yes what maybe one or two of the, of the things or most of the things our leaders are doing are, are doing it right the world over they are praising the president they are praising him for the handling of those COVID issues the way he's come out himself to make sure that he took it upon himself. Mm -hmm. How many addresses hasn't he given out? How many um, updates hasn't he given us? Apart from him, as you are saying, Kojo Ponkroma is doing it. Mm -hmm. The health ministry is doing it. Everybody is on board. Then we start doing politics with it. Oh, the, the president has attended someone's funeral or the president has done that. So everyone now listens to it and starts to relax. Mm. These are the little things that affect us daily. And if we don't stop it, 
it's going to affect all of us. It's not going to, when COVID comes or when mm. it's attacking you, it will not come and ask you whether you are NDC or MDP, mm. whether you are a journalist or a politician, mm. whether you are the president or you are the um, messenger. Mm. It will not ask you anything. When it's attacking you, it's attacking you. So when we want to address problems, mm. let's address it and let us all advise. Let us all come out and tell and, people and that, that's, listen, and that's why, let us all get involved. And, and that's why whether must, even uh, assuming I come here and you are even getting it wrong, mm. I will not come and condemn you. What I have to do is that, listen, I'll look at some of the things you've done good, praise you and tell you that, oh, other things, let us try and push together mm -hmm. and make sure we do it well. Alfred, that is how Alfred, we grow as a people that's what I'm and asking. as a nation. That's what I'm asking. So take a look at, at, at this, uh, the video, uh, people walking in town um, without wearing their nose mask. They're right in town and, and you'll put it on the screen now. That's it. So it's just uh, one of our roving reporters taking a video in central Accra, mm -hmm. you can you can barely see anybody wearing a video um, a, a, a no mask. mask. I mean, do you, would you blame this on the president? People are that people are the walking president through. is not wearing his nose mask. Yeah. Where you see him every day wearing his nose mask. Interestingly, yesterday, Alfred, when I went to so I saw a COVID task force mm -hmm. policemen sitting at the back of their pickup vehicle. Nose mask. None of them. Then they are the COVID task force. But I'm saying that we saw at the advent of this fight some branded vehicles for COVID-19. We yes, saw... Yes, at the beginning. When yes. They, you see, and then when they were we giving saw it out to... twice NCC, a week NCC. updates, we were told we're going to be giving hourly updates. You remember all of yeah. that? If we admit that there's a third wave, where are all those things that used to let people know that something is happening? Oh, they give the updates by the statistics. Almost every time it's on the Ministry of um, Health. That is not enough. I'm, I'm they talking send about it by the social media and everything. Mm. I'm coming, I'm building a case. Right. The uh, NCC, when they were giving them those pickups, it was some other organization's pickups okay. that were given to them at the um, at that material right. project. For because three months. It was, yes, it was very urgent that they go around and make the necessary. Uh, campaigning mm. and everything. Mm. After some time, um, after the three months, they gave the organization's pickups back to them. Mm. And then they left what NCC needed at that time. You well, know, what was left for? The, how many were left on the NCC? I don't have it on mine. I okay. don't want to just mention okay. figures and be okay. okay. quoted. And then tomorrow, Pablo will come and say that <laughs> I should be sent to a committee that <laughs> I have lied to Ghanaians. <laughs> and so at the end of the day, what is necessary is that NCC, whether you have cars or not, at least let your voice be heard. How, how do by they do publications, that? Publications, by uh, news, uh, and this thing, briefings and everything. You see, you can get people on board without moving around. I, when they hear from most of the organizations, NCC, the necessary health institutions that you are mm. seeing and everything, then people will realize that um, <laughs> this is serious. Okay. But, you know, you interview certain people and you realize that some take it as a joke that, oh, there's no COVID. Mm -hmm. This um, um, sickness is also the sickness for the rich. And so they are not going to be affected and everything. But we all need to get on board. Mm -hmm. We all need to get involved. Pa Pablo, Pablo needs to come on board mm -hmm. as Pablo and as a Ghanaian and not as an NDC politician or youth organizer mm -hmm. who is trying to get political capital out of this. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if this whole thing affects most people or half of the nation, mm -hmm. You should know that if tomorrow you should come or your government should come and come in Rugan, half of the people will be gone. You have not answered my question on whether or not we have shown candor, he, he, he can't answer. candor he can't as answer leadership candor. of the country. That I have told you we that must definitely, have, we must definitely, have in a funeral. Definitely. So the as, president, as, when he spoke, could have, for example, admitted that, apologized, and given the right <laughs> signal for people to know that what John, you did Johnny, was wrong. Johnny, Let's go I, ahead and I do it. I told you right. that, listen, as human as we are, definitely there'll be one or two shortfalls. We are not saying that we are totally uh, infallible. We, 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 are, we, we, we know the best out of everything. But definitely, there'll be one or two shortfalls. That doesn't mean that we should brood over that okay. and let the whole nation get affected. Or because uh, maybe there are one or two mistakes that you've done, mm -hmm. the president should not come out and give the addresses or the updates. He's done it, and he's told you that this is the situation now. There has been a third wave. Mm -hmm. It came in, and it's more serious than the previous one. Let us take the necessary precautions. And he went out to address certain things. And he said, that, listen, that doesn't mean... You remember even when we wanted to start the school, mm. the, the schools were supposed to go back. Right. Everybody was complaining that why should we allow the children to go back to school? Mm. Because it's, uh, the wave was, or the second wave was there and it's going to affect them. But okay. he took a bold decision and said that, no, let us protect the children, but let them go to school. Because at the end of the day, we are going to lose as a nation. Because mm. about a year, 
They were at home doing nothing. And it affected the school calendar. Today, someone is making political capital out of it that the school calendar has been affected and the children don't know what to do. Uh, they have to go and do and they go mm -hmm. to school tomorrow. They said tomorrow they should go home and have. You see, people are making capital but out Alfred, of it. But you, you, let you, us see, look you seem at very, the, you seem very interested in what political capital somebody is making out of it. So, for example, the president in all the over twenty addresses that he has given us mm -hmm. continuously says pubs, nightclubs, and beaches remain closed. He said it in the last one. Yeah, I mean. And I have dared the president and asked him respectfully to come along with me. Mm -hmm. I will take him round mm -hmm. to the beaches, mm -hmm. the pubs, mm -hmm. the nightclubs that he has consistently told the nation remain closed. Mm -hmm. And he will be shocked to the marrow. And I'm saying that if you keep telling the people one thing, mm -hmm. but another thing is happening on the ground, it looks like you are detached from what's happening on the ground, then the people will not, in, in advertising, for example, the aid car rule, the, the people will not fall for it. And that's, that's I, give you, I give you a clear view that listen, the president has done his bit. Everybody is supposed to do their bit. The police are supposed to make sure that all these parts and things are not working. You remember. But how did they get I'm into coming, the president's speech? For no, him because to be repeating they update them. Him. They update him on what is going on. And he keeps on telling them, listen, do not open your parts. Do not open your. No, he says they remain closed. It's yeah, a, it's a different thing from no, when he says, them. You see, when he says they remain closed, <laughs> doesn't mean that uh, maybe someone is not hiding and opening his. What he's saying is that they should not open it. That is the word he's saying. When he says they remain closed, mm. he's saying that they have not given them the authority to open. Okay. So the police should go ahead and make sure that they are closed. You remember um, some time back, uh, Honorable Henry Corte, the Great Accra Regional Minister, right. took the police right, take one holiday mm. and make sure that he told them that make sure that all the pubs all the um, uh, sports and everything, the beach sites and everything are closed. Some abided by it, but you might not get everybody doing it because the number of policing we have around will not meet all these small, small sports okay. and things. I hear you. And even drinking sports that people go. I hear you. And sometimes even the people who are supposed, as you are saying, mm -hmm. they are supposed to even make sure that they check it. Mm -hmm. Are themselves not doing it. Okay. Like the um, police said they saw in the vanity. So these are things that we, we all need to keep on hammering and make sure the president can only he cannot go around and say that uh, why why is your pub open why is your um, um, drinking spot open and all everything but he needs to send a message that continuously we are not going to open them i hear you and the people involved mm. or the people who should work should make sure that they are working and these pubs are not open. pablo yesterday at the um, stambake uh, graphic event they spoke about how businesses can bounce back and what role the media should play the media can only project a positive picture of Ghana out there, so foreign direct investments and all of that may come in. But on the local front, have you been satisfied with what we have done so far for our people in terms of stimulus packages and tax holidays and all of that? Um, Johnny, um, before I respond to your mm -hmm. question, mm -hmm. I want to take up one of the comments <laughs> Alfred here passed about we politicking out of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. The National Democratic Congress that I am part of mm -hmm. do not and will not use COVID-19 yeah. as a tool to ride on to make this government unpopular. Mm -hmm. As a responsible political organization, we set up a committee, made a series of recommendations mm -hmm. and presented to the COVID-19 task force because we believe that no country mm -hmm. will prosper, no country will develop when issues of such nature are ongoing. Mm -hmm. So it is not in our interest. All we are saying is that the president has ultimate responsibility of protecting citizens of this country. Mm -hmm. You cannot be seen to be saying A while your people are doing B. So when the president continuously says that pubs are closed, mm -hmm. When they are not closed. And then Alfred C.C. says that the president cannot go around. That means he's lost his moral authority. Because over 20 addresses, mm -hmm. you keep telling the people that this thing is closed. And when the citizens go out and they are opened, you think they will listen to you again. He has not shown that commitment. He has not shown that leadership. And that is what we are saying. Now let me come to the issue of business and... The support the, for business. The support right. for business. Mm -hmm. Ghana assessed over one billion in the last one year since COVID broke. After 
last year March. That is when COVID started. So December last year. Mm. People like you have been calling for an audit of the COVID-19 funds. Right. What the money has been used for. You only go out there to support a cause that you feel is laudable as a journalist. You only go out there to report when you see proper accountability taking place. Mm. You go out to report when there is transparency and then you are comfortable because your reputation as a journalist is also on the line. Mm. When you tell me that you've used almost 300 million in feeding people over a period of two weeks and you cannot account for the funds, you don't expect anybody to come and give you support unless you show that this thing that you are saying, these are the facts, these are the figures. When you tell me that you have supported small scale, uh, small and medium scale businesses right. with COVID-19 funds. NBSSI loans. Through the NBSSI loans. And up to date, a month and a half ago, the Business and Financial Times carried a report of over 65,000 businesses that are still closed. Because they were asked to go through a process, apply, show your tax compliance, yes. and, and I, all and of that. I'm saying How that, many people you employ. I'm saying that after all that processes, okay. because they are telling us that a certain amount of money has been disbursed already. Okay. The Business and Financial Times did a report that over 65,000 small and medium scale businesses are still closed and are saying they've still not received any form of support from governments. Then you ask yourself, where did all this money go to? How many of our medium scale, medium and uh, small scale enterprises mm. got the kind of support or the stimuluses that were promised? Also, the big, big businesses like the hotels and what have you, mm -hmm. we've heard them complain that they were the hardest hits because you see, for instance, tourism is one area that drives, is the third biggest foreign exchange earner for this country. And immediately COVID hits this country. The, the biggest industries that suffered were the tourism industry, the airlines, the hotels, and what have mm. you. But they got tax holidays, didn't they? Oh, let me finish. Is it, I'm just asking. You, you only pay taxes when you give out a product. Mm. And then the, the income that comes to you, that is when you pay the taxes on. Mm. So when you, are, you have nothing selling, when you are not giving out anything, when nobody is coming to acquire hotels, <laughs> tax holidays don't mean anything. But they have staffs. Mm. What special support did the Ministry of Tourism give to these industries? They are still out there. You can go out there and find out from them. Because we speak to some of them. And they'll tell you what their challenges have been. On the, on the local fronts, mm. as journalists, you can take your cameras around and engage business owners and find out from them how cumbersome the procedures have been. We took almost $1 billion from the COVID-19 Global Fund mm. between, 20, between March 20. 20 mm -hmm. and April and then um, July 2020. If okay. government mm -hmm. was really committed in helping out, I believe that a lot more would have been done for industry. But, but some businesses. people have attested to the fact that they got support. Mm -hmm. They got support. Some schools, some businesses, they got some support at least. So yes, there may be 65,000 who didn't get, but some got support. In, 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 Maybe in, we should acknowledge that first and then we can start looking in, at what they didn't come. They, yeah. When you speak, when you speak, mm. they'll tell you that you are doing politics. Okay, there you are. When you speak, they'll mm. tell you that you are doing politics. But the reality on the ground is that a lot of this support went to party people. Really? Come yes. On. No, but even feeding, even cooking, <coughs> even cooking. Mm. We had our member of parliament for Clotty College. Honorable mm. Zaneto <laughs> come out to say that they were because they gave some NPP MPs mm. support from the COVID fund, but they didn't give NDC MPs support from the COVID fund. We saw it, we saw how food items from the Ministry of Gender, Gender right. was given out to NPP MPs. Yeah. Ah, it happened in this country. If you don't know, say you don't know, it's but it did true. happen, and that's not true. Their colleague members of parliament from the NDC side did not get. It's the same 
thing that went into the stimulus packages. Mm. I'm saying that in <laughs> other jurisdictions, mm. stimuluses were made in such a way that almost everybody who is deserving of assessing it got the opportunity to assess it. That okay. has not been the case. Right. So when you hold mm. a, a press conference or it's a summit, a, a summit mm. and then you are asking on support of projecting um, the efforts of government so that businesses, foreign direct investments can come in. It depends on what you do. Because you see, those who are bringing in their money, they read the, 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 the tabloids just like you and I every day. Mm. They are on social media. They listen to the stories. They talk to people. And they know exactly what is happening. I see. Alfred, so George thinks you have not done enough to, uh, if you like, help us all bounce back. And so this call for support, um, you may have to come again with it. What do you say? Johnny, I'm glad you asked certain questions. Mm. And I'm glad that you put to him that certain businesses have been helped. I don't know how, when you are feeding someone, the line, I was part of those who shared the food in Ezanato's uh, constituency. Okay. So I was so mad when she came out and said that uh, they were giving it to party people. When you go and you call Kayaye to form line and you are giving them food, you are going to ask the person that show me your MPP card or your NDC card before you give the food. Let's be serious. And you see, and I keep on saying that these are the things that give people the chance to see that this thing is a joke. These are the things. When you do such or you go on such rhetorics, you make the Ghanaian, some Ghanaian populace mm. think that, oh, they are just playing politics with this, uh, what do you call it, COVID. Honorable or um, her, um, this, um, Chief Justice Sofa Akufo mm. has given a full report of her account on the COVID fund. Has, has she? Yes, she has. She said the consumables mm -hmm. may not be able to be, uh, she has not been able to account for all of that. I mean, she's Yeah, broke. but definitely you, you get uh, one or two things that. But consumables, like, if you're mean, buying consumables, you know you're buying 30 but, boxes but, but, of but, but, water. Please. Yeah, there let, are let some. Let's distinguish the role she played mm. and the funds she managed. Yeah. From the funds that were assessed from the IMF. Okay, those and those are two, two, are two different, different things. things. Yes. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, building, a, I'm building a case. I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm building a case. These are all part funds of that were donated she said, by uh, uh, Pablo Lyon. So what was she what we COVID. got from outside? Mm -hmm. For example, I, I remember Kojo Oponkron was asked at, mm -hmm. in the lobby of Parliament, mm -hmm. and he said that the fight is still ongoing, so yeah. we cannot account for what we have not finished spending. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. But the former Chief Justice, her ladyship, had mentioned Hashtag about yes. the 54 yes. million said food, what she's got, what she's water, and, and now all of that. Now, yes. if they, we haven't accounted for some of the monies we spent, how would you sit here and say that they spent 300, 300 million or whatever on food? Mm -hmm. If you haven't accounted for anything at all, definitely there are some accounts that have gone on. And that is why I keep on saying that when you sit down and do understand, allow, allow him, allow him. George, George, please. He kept quiet for you. Sorry about that. Mm. And he has, Alex, a, he, has a nice, he has a nice book in front of him. So I'm wondering why Pablo can't Alex, write ahead, it. He just ahead. wants. It's Alfred. My Alfred, dad, sorry. My dad is actually Alex. Sorry, sorry, Alfred. My little dad. Anyway, so you see, let us, let us take this fight as a national fight. That mm. is what Kodu is calling upon. When you apply, Mm -hmm. And I know Kosi Yankee. Kosi hasn't got time to come and call, oh, Alfred, uh, maybe uh, three people have applied from your constituency. Uh, bring their cards and let's see whether they are NDC or MPP. The number of applications that you get mm -hmm. and the time that you need to respond to it, you are not going to ask people to bring their party cards before you give it to the them. The last time I are checked, some people were, text messages were sent. I mean, some people were told that by the close of January 2021, they were mm -hmm. going to get it. Mm -hmm. Up until now, they still don't it have it. It means that there are issues. And because Yankee's uh, no, institution has been changing from the uh, NBSSI to Ghana. To and, GA. Uh, yeah, GA. Yes. Yeah, right. It means that there are issues. That is why they haven't gotten them. Mm -hmm. Listen, in my constituency, mm -hmm. even some people were fighting me that, ah, the NDC chairman and vice chairman in that constituency got so much. How come they, their applications haven't gone? And I told them straight away, this is not a party uh, fund. This is a fund that is being given to everyone mm -hmm. to revive their business. So if the NDC man has a business and his business case has gone through and mm -hmm. they've given him the fund, mm -hmm. does it mean that they look at him as a party person and give it to him? Please, let's be serious. Mm -hmm. And when we keep on going this way, we are shooting ourselves in the foot. And I keep on saying it. NDC should set up. Mm -hmm. If they want to be taken serious in this country as a serious opposition party, they should, they should listen to what they say 
-hmm. When they finish saying it, they should sit down and watch themselves and ask themselves that, what I said, did I really make sense to the populace? That is why they keep on losing. Because at the end of the day, people will ask you, if you come and sit down and tell me that, eh, let's go, eh, let's go on the streets because I've won an election, and you go and jubilate, and after that, you go to court, and after court, you come and tell me again that eh, elections are not won in the court, but they are won on the ground. People will ask you whether you're a serious person and whether I should give my life to how, you. How is that to, relevant to the conversation? No, I'm giving you an example. This is an example mm. of what is going on in the country mm. and what is going on by the biggest and the, the people who should be the most, most serious opposition party in this country because we expect them so, to counter government mm. and come in with pragmatic solutions. Mm. That government can pick and say that, oh, yes, point number one, point number two, point number three. I picked it and it's worked. We are working as a nation. We are working together. Mm. When you there's a COVID uh, this thing, and you go and form a separate team, mm. instead of saying that, oh, these are people that we are coming together. We are coming to you. Let us work together. But they gave you recommendations. Did you use them? They went to set up their own team. But they Listen, gave you the it documents. It is not about setting up your team. I remember the documents. They, you remember what? Mr. Segbefia gave me a copy. He gave the press a copy. You I remember say. what the president said? He no, said, no, anybody, anybody who has... Any expertise should come on board. Oh, give you a document. Oh, uh, hold, on, hold on. Should come on board mm. and let us work. Did you use he their document? Say, Did you um, use their document? John, can I can I finish? You see, you asked him very good questions. Then I realized that oh, John is I mean superb here. But the, now I'm it's asking like, the same no, questions. You are not. You are, you are, you are trying to you are trying to block. <laughs> my, no, no, I'm not. My, oh, my, oh, Alfred, ah, come on. In a nice way, you are trying to. <laughs> you see, what I'm saying is that you can write 110 recommendations. Mm -hmm. Were you part of the team? Did you bring yourself that? Listen, when I, I can write something like what the president said that listen, hotels, pubs, uh, pubs, pubs and, uh, right, this thing, and beaches remain closed. Right. Remain closed doesn't mean that uh, this thing is going around and make sure that they are closed. What he's saying is that at the end of the day, like the borders, mm. the borders remain closed. And people um, smuggling themselves in and out of the borders, mm. they are still doing it. But the land borders remain closed. The pubs and things remain closed because I haven't given the fiat that these um, pubs should be opened. That is what he's saying. So all he expects is mm -hmm. that the law enforcement should do their work mm -hmm. and do it well so that we are all safe from this menace. I see. Now, what is the government's Where plan? Where have and, we gone And take a, take a two minutes on this because he mm -hmm. also spoke about the fact that the stimulus packages and things that must come to the people mm -hmm. have not come. And therefore, if we're expecting the business environment or ecosystem to bounce back mm -hmm. like like we we're expecting then we must do something what is government's plan to make sure that this morning that uh, msme who is going out now to go and look for bread and butter is actually properly cushioned to also um uh, include itself in the ghana beyond mm -hmm. begging agenda i believe you heard minister of finance on our talking mm -hmm. about the obat and pa package right. that are being given to smes and all these other organizations day in day out we are helping day in day out. you see we have when you go to the register general's department mm -hmm. there are over a, a million organizations that have been registered you can't help everybody most people would apply but as and when they are applying you cipher and make sure that you give those who really need it. Because mm. in all these things, mm -hmm. don't forget that there will be some 419 companies too. Companies that have collapsed for the last how many years. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you that oh, we are still working and we only got out of business mm -hmm. during this COVID time. Mm -hmm. So help us. Mm -hmm. yeah, all these things you have to check. Otherwise, you sit down and you give money to wrong people who are not going to help in building the nation. Okay. In the last recent Bank of Ghana figures, you saw how they've told you that the economy is rebounded. It's coming back. To its end, and you saw the growth rate and everything going up. It tells you that definitely something has been pumped in for these things to come. Mm. It's not it's not by chance. It's not like a ghost thing that you sit down and all of a sudden things have started rebounding. Definitely something has been pumped in. Mm. So definitely some companies have gotten the support they need to get, and they are but helping. But the quantum of companies that have gotten it's still support. ongoing. When you cook with right now, she'll tell you she has another set she's still working on. I see. She keeps on working day in, day out. Sometimes I wonder how she even does it because she, she's, she's, she's working herself out mm. to make sure that she meets the, the, the targets and deadlines okay. she's giving herself. Thank you. Such uh. a person, we need to commend her. Mm. We need to commend people who are making sure that they don't, they, um, 
refuse their sleep just to make sure that they help people. These are the things we need. Okay. We don't need to rather muddy the waters by politicizing it and you, making you, you everything keep, look. You keep saying we but should it's not, true. but you are doing but that. But it's true. You're, you that are, is what Pablo and his team are doing. You're, but you are also doing that. I'm not doing you're it. Doing I'm telling it. him to stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to stop. If we don't drum it down, that stop doing that so that this nation will not suffer. At the end of the day, himself and myself, maybe going... But, but, but you, your party did politics with COVID relief. Free how water, did we do free it? Free electricity, you remember that? No, how did we do politics free with water, it? Free water, free electricity. Yes, Was but we, we had to give it. Say again. At that time when people were not working, you told people to sit at home for one week. Yes. You expect them to... All of us didn't get was, money. It was in your country. Private schools. Free water, private free schools. electricity, no. uh, well, insurance for medical people, My first brother, line private workers, schools. 50%. People you were, were drumming not it being home. Paid. It was part of your campaign. I, I got a, a call from a lady who was teaching in a private school and said mm. that for three months, four months, she has not been paid. Right. You expect her to go and pay water and electricity. That's, Why is she going that, to get that's, the money that's for? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that these, inter I'm saying these is interventions, that the interventions were given because I, I, of the COVID time. Okay. And we were telling people that, make sure that the moment you get home, wash your hands, which, running which, which, water. Which we, are, which we are paying for. But I'm saying that it was an active part of your campaign. If you're asking somebody not to politicize, you should have told we your didn't party. We didn't politicize it. Not to, they didn't you no. politicize it. You, you know we didn't. Job, okay. So. Okay. If let's, some did, I don't know. But let's, we didn't. I let, didn't. Let's, let's switch, Pablo. Uh, sorry about that. But let's switch. Um, so yesterday, the family of Kaka went to the chief imam. You remember the gentleman out there, a social media Nigeria. activist who was uh, in a dry, he was on social media, um, yeah, subsequently yeah. he was murdered. Well, there was some, uh, if you like, disruptions in there. The DC MC was nowhere to be found. Um, he, because he's acting, and he's been told not to take any major policy decision. So the regional minister had to come in to bring in the military, there was a committee that met. Uh, in the meantime, there was also the chief imam who went with the vice president to a jura to appeal to the people to tone down because they were very, very angered and they had wanted to take certain actions. Well, the committee initially was given 10 days to finish their work. They, um, they asked for extra days. I think they did 16 days. They presented their report on the 27th of July. Today is uh, way past uh, maybe 20 days after they presented their report to the Honorable Interior Minister. So what's new? Here's Kaka's family and then we'll come and discuss. It's been almost two months since social media activist Macho Kaka met his untimely death. For the family, the pain of losing their loved one is still fresh. Getting the needed support for the wife and children Kaka left behind has become difficult, according to the family spokesperson, Nafiru Mohammed. Their only hope, Baba Idi Mohammed, has also been taken away from them following a neighbor's testimony accusing him of being responsible for Kake's death. On the 26th, when, it, when Kaka was attacked, Idi was in the house. He continued to be in the house until the 30th. He was in his room when the police knocked to his door that he should come and go and write a statement. So assuming he is the person who did that, will he be there? Won't he run away? Who of sound mind will kill somebody and still be in the, in the room? Though calm has been restored at a giraffe where some angry youths clashed with security personnel over Kake's death, there is still a bit of tension due to the twist in events. They have questioned the whereabouts of the 54-page report comprising findings and recommendations of the shooting incident at Ijira. Even the committee's work was not up to one month. So what, what, what is it taking? Is it about 5,000 pages of document that we cannot read within a month? It has been more than a month since the, document was, the report was given to the Interior Minister. We are saying that it is long overdue. Meanwhile, lawyer for the family, Oliver Bakavoma was said the delay in justice for both Kaka and Idi is of concern as there is a growing loss of confidence in the ability of the police to deal with the matter fairly, diligently and with the necessary attention. We had highest levels of the police authority who had given press statements telling the media and individuals Ghanaians that they had already concluded that Kaka's death had nothing to do with his activism. But surely his brother killed him. When we know that at that point the police had not conducted basic investigation, that it was only on the 10th of August 
a couple of days ago that the police in fact came to Ejura to come and take statements from persons in the house. So on what basis then do the police already conclude as to the causes and who already killed Kaka? These are matters of irregular police work that we wanted to raise with the IGP. And that is why a letter was sent for about two weeks now we have not had a response. The National Chief Imam Sheikh Osman Nuhu Sharabutu asks for an official letter from the family to enable his board of advisors probing into the matter. Okay, so here we are. Um, Alfred, this is where we, where we are now. Where's the report? I know that it was presented to Honorable Ambrose Derry, but why is it taking so long for us to be told the contents of the report? Because he said he was going to study it and then we will get to know. This is uh, an important matter. Um, I'm, I'm lost for it on this particular issue because... Um, I know the report has been done. The committee finished their mm. work. I think the they, got some, they, yeah. they got an extension yes, and finished six their days, work. Yeah. Yeah. And they have um, given it to the interior, interior minister. minister. Mm. And I believe the interior minister, being a legal person, a lawyer and everything, he knows that the more you keep the report or you don't bring it out fast mm. or you don't bring the recommendations early, the different suspicion people mm. have. Mm -hmm. And so I, 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 I hope uh, maybe because the president is out of the country, but I hope that by the time the president comes, this report will be presented to the president, the necessary information is given out mm -hmm. and the necessary actions taken because it's necessary for all of us. And we've had series of these, some of these reports and things that have kept long mm -hmm. and it creates a different mind for people to mm -hmm. say that, ah, is it that there's something in there that they don't want to come out mm -hmm. or what? Mm -hmm. Yes, the recommendations can be given. It's up to the mm -hmm. president or the minister or the team involved mm -hmm. to say that, listen, I'm taking this, I'm not taking that. Mm -hmm. Because you look at it and see whether it will help the course of the country. Right. The three-member committee has been formed. They have looked at it, they've listened to everyone, mm -hmm. they've brought their report. So you look at the report and like what happened with the uh, IOS West, you know that the president gave you the the I accept too. this, I don't accept this, mm -hmm. this is why I don't accept this and everything. He explained everything and it made sense to people to see that yes, at the end of the day, you <laughs> the have... The people you think have, that was a cover-up. No, it wasn't a cover-up. <laughs> is it better for him to come out and tell you the truth? Or oh, he should just sit on the report and say that, listen, I've seen the report, I'll come up after later, and after now he hasn't come out with a, 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 a recommendation or the necessary steps he's taking. At the end of the day, he told you the steps I'm going to take mm. and what I'm not going to do because I don't believe in what this and this and this person said. Mm. And he has that prerogative to come out and respond. The people, so the, I, I, I'll pray mm. that the Minister of Interior, whoever is watching, should tell him that and I'll send a message to that let's quickly come out with this report mm. so that we don't create doubts in the minds of people that there's some cover up of sort and maybe we don't want to. It, it, it creates that uncertainty mm. in, the, in people and mm. it, it, it doesn't make them happy as a family, especially if you've lost a loved one. Mm. You know where the thing happened is a predominantly uh, an Islamic community. Yeah. So when the things were getting out of hand, they went for the, the chief imam yeah. and took his eminence there, the vice president, the vice president as, old, was very as old as he was, yeah. or he is. He so was just taking to there. calm the next exactly. thing, and it was a very good... Uh, and, and now they are thing thinking the that with the, the delay, presented. they are going back to the chief imam, the vice president, that we looked at you, at you to and we laid decision. down everything. So now if it's delaying, we have come back to you. Are we not putting the chief imam in a fix? No, it's, 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 it's a good um, route they've taken, and I commend them for that. Their mm -hmm. family have they've done very well. Other people would have taken arms or gone onto the streets and said, listen, we've waited for so long, we don't see anything happening and everything. But as sensible as they are, they've gone through the necessary route. I give you that respect. I've come back to you. Please do something. Mm -hmm. Because the more it delays, the more it affects us. We want to bring a finality to our family so that the our family member, mm -hmm. so that we can bury him or lay him in peace, even though he's been buried already. Yeah. They need to cover, um, finalize finality, everything. Yeah. And know that after all, at the end of it, or the family, the person has been buried. So at the end of it, what they are trying to do is mm. to go back to, and I'm sure if they had a chance, they would have done the same with the vice president to go to him. I commend them for the efforts they put in mm. himself and the chief imam upon all the busy schedule and upon all the age and everything. They moved to that place to bring calm to that place. Mm. In that same vein, let us all 
rally behind the minister, please bring the report out. Whether now the vice president is there, he's acting as the president. You can hand the report over to him. He went there. He mm. can look at it. He can call his boss and um, put the necessary recommendations down for him. So everything can be put in place. That means machinery is still working. Mm -hmm. And we need everybody to get on board to make sure that right. count comes to that place. I see. Pablo, so the report has been done and dusted, but the minister says, I'm looking at it. <laughs> what do you say? Page reports. I don't know how long it will take. Any reasonable person, mm -hmm. how long you have to spend to study such a report, just 57 pages. Justice delayed, it's like justice denied. And you see, people are a bit skeptical and doubtful mm -hmm. because of how this government in the past have handled other reports. Politicking again. Where is the politician? Uh, that ahead. is what the truth is. Go ahead, don't take our first bit. That, that, that is what the truth is. Don't take our so first bit, go, go ahead. After almost the months, mm -hmm. The impression well, the capital. president and the vice president created for the country was that they needed, that is why initially the president just gave them 10 days. Finish this, let's have it, and let's do it this expeditiously. Mm -hmm. How many weeks now? After 10 days, they came to actually an extra 16 days yeah. that was granted. Mm -hmm. Now the report has been done, and it's sitting on somebody's table gathering dust. Whilst the victim's family are out there hoping that something will be said or told mm -hmm. that this and this is what the recommendations are and this is what we are going to do these are the people we think are culpable there's also another important issue of the dc when you're right. just speaking right. the, in your narration right that the dcs are in acting capacity so that's right you see the they DCs, were asked not to take yeah, any major policy it is a failure on the part of president Akufuado. eight months into your second term. Are you talking about mm -hmm. Kaka or DC? Kaka, because the DC was part of the whole issue. But the DC has been told would to step aside. Would you let me finish? Okay, so hold on. Allow him. Allow him. John, in that particular case, the DC has been told to step aside. So why should he bring... Alfred, if you look... Would you let me finish my point? if you look at if you look at the dynamics of the area, for example, the DC, the MCE, is the boss of the municipal security council. If he had allowed me Hold on. Now, if he's allowed to act, or he's told to act, but not to take major policy decisions mm -hmm. he couldn't have for example taken that security decision which is why i suspect that the, the regional minister it, came yeah. in to take yeah. that decision yeah, sure so maybe allow him to vent and especially his where they were even so, so, him. Alfred, 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 to allow him, allow him, to, allow him to ventilate his point wanted to, uh, allow him so, to ventilate. he shouldn't so, sum up all the I, I, so allow, allow him to ventilate he kept quiet for you at least so allow him to ventilate a draw has happened it was avoidable but it's happened if and only if we had DCs in office mm -hmm. address as the head, issue as head of municipal or as head of district security committees, right? I believe there would have been more. Um, the, the interventions would not escalate exactly, and he could have intervened earlier mm -hmm. than waiting for somebody from Kumase mm -hmm. to come and take decisions. And he, being the DC in that area, would have appreciated the situations better. So he, he, would not have, he would not know, but if he was in charge mm -hmm. and he could have taken any decision and had met his music or his dice, I believe they would have advised him, asked what to do, and they would not have brought in the military. He took his family to safety. That's no. my problem and, and, with him. Because he doesn't you have see, the capacity to act. He didn't <laughs> fled. It wasn't because fleeing. he didn't have the capacity it, it to act. It wasn't fleeing. Because they had put the person on his bodyguards. Mm -hmm. but so see, he needed to leave that area. But, 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 see, sure what, that but what was that? What was that? No, but, he needed to leave Johnny, for peace. Johnny, he was looking at peace. Allow Pablo. I thought you'd give me one minute at least. Let Pablo have his Let him finish out. I consider it. I hope okay. Pablo doesn't say I'm being biased. Today you've no, been very not. biased. Because he's speaking to, more than towards I. You. I'm sorry. Right from, because it's a right from COVID. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you feel oh, if you feel like so, so 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 you see, all I'm saying is that why are they still holding that report? Mm. What justification, what reasonable excuse do they have for holding the report? What what, what, what would a further delay mean? You see, once where I sit. Mm -hmm. And knowing this government and how it has covered up a lot of scandals and how he has pushed a lot of reports under the table, mm. right from the bus days up to today, through our Suez Wugans Commission's report mm. and the yeah, kind of white going. papers that were issued, clearly, yeah, strategically you can only come to one reasonable conclusion that this government has something to hide in this a dry issue. 
Really? And now, what from why I said, I believe they are massaging the reports. Allow the report to come out. First and why I said, you. thank you. Why I said, thank I you. believe that they are massaging the reports. Massaging? Of How course, can you massage yes. the reports when there is a who has been and in the report? And I'm saying that from where I sit, mm. they, are look, they are studying the reports. From what you see? From what, where I sit. Okay. And what they have done previously. Mm. Especially with Ayala so well. You well. see, mm. you speak from and experience. The mm. So I'm sure from experience of John Mahama, what he has been That's doing. No. I'm long term. Your experience. Ayala so well. When I we all saw so video the, evidence. The, mm. I, I so and the kind of white paper. And, 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 and the white paper. And the white paper that the president issued. So when you say they are massaging it. Clearly. But Alfred, if you... You put a quiet people that you was worse with yeah. report. There are also recommendations that you endorse. For example, yes. on double and the others. Have you implemented no, no, no. everything has been done? No. Everything we has been done. Listen, let me it was when example. it was when the issue of CTF and Caleb Koda oh, happened. Right, right. That we had to start making noise before Azugu was booted out. Now you finish, the so can I also talk? Yes. Listen, take. when you, you see, when you, from your experience, <laughs> from, from you can, I am you speaking done, about you your take, government. You think it's ongoing. I'm mm. telling you, that is the change that came. What change? We are not like you. We will never be like you. We will never be like you. We have not implemented we, the, the, the Iowa so West work. He knows we have. Not. We, responded, we responded to it. And the recommendations. The ones you did not Can I finish now? Or the ones you did not You finished the item. We have, okay. we have recom the recommendations were given. Mm. We responded to them and we told you what we are going to do. What implemented In this same way, with this report that is coming. Listen, the family, the family of Kaka. The report the family the report of Kaka is now the the not there. Now no the standing army, are they still not there? I, I expect him that okay. he should rather commensurate with them instead of rather we bringing more that. pain to we them. We have done that. What okay. you are doing is you are bringing more pain no, by saying that pain. you are, you are okay. there. You and your government right. are bringing Thank you. Thank you very much. Masaj is the Alfred Thompson. is a member of the NPP's communication team on the national front. And also Mr. George Oparia is a private legal practitioner. He is also a member of the NDC's legal team. He is uh, a former MC of the Equipium North Municipal Assembly and the um, youth organizer of the NDC. He's a big man. He has a lot of uh, positions. Uh, he's also a very big banker and investor and uh, strategic thinker. <laughs>